Cracking down on DUI with increased patrols and sobriety checkpoints. A DUI can cost you more than just your license. You may lose your job and even your freedom. I'm attorney John Seed, former Boston DUI prosecutor specializing in drunk driving defense. I can help you get your life back after a DUI arrest. My trial experience on both sides of the law is the critical factor in defending DUI cases. Don't let a DUI destroy your life. Call me, John Seed, today, 617-254-8000, or visit johnseedlaw.com. WEMF, presented by the Sound Museum. Welcome. Young Jerks. That is, uh, earlier you heard our, our attorney. John B. Seed. Who we should call if you're ever in criminal trouble. That's right. He's a good guy. He knows it, and uh, he'll take care of you. Yeah, he's served both sides of the law, and uh, you've heard him on this show. He called in uh, last week with Evan Felchuk. Gave us some legal advice. Yeah, he gave both of us, uh, (laughs) all three of us. All three of us. (laughs) (laughs) Evan, too, he he kind of uh, confirmed that Evan did the right thing, as he always does, before he even got the legal advice. That's right. He already knew. He already did the right thing. Hey, you know, he's a good guy, and if you need him, give him a buzz. Yeah. So we are the Young Jerks, and... This week, as usual, there's all sorts of things happening in the studio. Uh, this is a first for us today, actually. What do you mean? Uh, well, I'm, I'm a little excited about it. Oh, actually. I didn't even tell you. You didn't? Did I really tell you? Did you really? I mean, you told me a little bit. I wasn't expecting it, but but maybe this is like a. Uh, I feel like I need to give you some presents this week, Frank. You know, we, we've been uh, as people have heard on the show, things have been going good here. Definitely have been going bad. They haven't been going bad. <laughs> no, nope, everything's yeah. been going great, yeah. man. There, and and it's been, been like uh, a lot of ups and downs over the last couple of years. And and uh, with the Evan Falchuk campaign just kind of winding down and celebrating, it's like, yeah, we need to have some beer in here. Let Frankie enjoy some good stuff. And from a good friend of mine who I knew from another life and growing up even, we grew up in the same area. We had some of the same friends we were talking about. We both knew uh, the WWE uh my champion in the WWE, John Cena. <laughs> we both knew him growing up. Uh, you grew up in that area. Was it West Newbury that you grew up in? I grew up in West Newbury. Yep. Actually, yeah. jo- John Cena and I were good friends when we were uh, a lot younger. So Yes. W- WWE superstar. And your name John is uh, Steve Sanderson. Yes. And you're a friend of mine. Uh, we grew up, uh, uh, you know, when we were in our 20s, I would say, maybe in our 30s, somewhere in that range. Yeah, yeah. We were uh, working, and we worked together as financial advisors. Yes, like you said, in a, in a, in a different life, uh, definitely a different place. We worked together, um, and it probably wasn't for that long, but it felt like a long time. There was a lot going on at the time, so. It was like a boot camp. Yeah, it really was, and we both. It's like, uh, make or break, and we made it. Yeah. We, we survived the boot camp. That's, that was it. Absolutely. And we were friends. We, were, we, we knew we grew up in the same area had some common friends and yeah i and, think i think there were some people in that boot camp too that probably stuck together a little bit better than others and maybe didn't fit into that environment and you got to stick together when you find people like that so it's true and and that's the thing when you're in a corporate environment that's how you survive you always hopefully find uh your people there and you kind of have your little you know your thing there yeah is that how you do it, Frankie, kind of? Absolutely. I mean, you can't just leave yourself out alone by, to be eaten by the wolves, you know. <laughs> Who can you trust, though? That's right. I could always trust you. And uh, <laughs> it's good to have you back in here, Steve, because, you know, we haven't talked in a long time, and you lose track of people. I, I saw you on Facebook. One of our friends, actually, mutual friend, Doug Orifice, yes. hit me up on LinkedIn. It was like, oh, awesome you were Steve name. Sanderson. And I was like, oh, my God, I got to find Steve. I, you know, And there you were, and there you're doing what I really liked. It was the Riverwalk, a local uh, brewer. And and where where is this based out? Is it West Newbury, Newburyport? Uh, where is it based? Yeah, out? we're in Newburyport. We actually started up in Amesbury originally in uh, 2012, and we moved to Newburyport shortly thereafter. Um, we've been there for a couple of years now. Um, and I'd like to, you know, I'd invite anybody if they want to come up and check out the brewery. We're open Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You can come in, taste all the beers, get some beer to go, um, take a tour of the brewery. It's a cool place to, you know, really get connected and see what goes on because we do everything right there. We're a legitimate small business, local brewery. What street is this on now? Uh, It's on Graff Road, uh, 3 Graff Road in Newburyport. What end of Graff Road? Because I know Graff Road. It's right right across from the Graff Rink. Oh, the rink. rink. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Right where the... uh the law, uh, what was that? What, there was used to be a lodge there. I'm trying to remember what it was. It's the, it's the Elks. Yeah, the Elks. Literally, yeah. the Elks is right behind us. We can hear them playing horseshoes yeah. when uh, when we're brewing sometimes. So. Oh, that's a great spot. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and that's the awesome. beer is good. 
Yeah, it really is. Most important. I, I knew it would be. <laughs> I'm just saying. I like, knew it would be. We're drinking ale, some kind of ale right now. So, yeah, it? we're drinking. We're drinking Uncle Bob's right now. Uncle Bob's is a traditional English style ale. Um, I love this kind of beer. I've been to England a few times. Um, this is named after a real guy, Uncle Bob, who turned me on to some great beers in England. And um, the reason that we brew this is because I couldn't find anything over here that I liked as much as the stuff in England, and wanted to do something that was going to be, you know, kind of our take on it. Just a really nicely balanced beer. You get malt, hops, but nothing's over the top. Uh, it's four and a half percent alcohol, so it's not going to knock you out. And pound them all day. Exactly. Yeah. Be fine. <laughs> yeah. And this is very appropriate that we're having you on here, twofold, um, kind of synchronicity wise, to cover our back end, so to speak, because we're doing this thing today where we're challenging uh, the governor to be on this marijuana. We can come up with a nickname for him, Governor to be. Well, yeah, no, but like a nickname. I mean, he's going to provide us with all sorts of gems the over baker. the course of I the mean, next four years. I love his last you know? name, the baker. <laughs> the baker who hates weed. The, the baker? I mean, come on. I don't know. We'll think of a name. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we have it. time. We'll, we have we'll, plenty right, of time. We'll table for that, that for now. <laughs> I want to get to the fact that uh, we're challenging the governor today. Um, we put it out there. We're putting a big uh, sort of challenge out there uh, based on um, David Boyer. Yep. Am I saying that right now? Dave, yeah, boy, yeah. yep, you did it. From, That's four uh, names in a row, Mike. Good job. No, it's more than that. Uh, okay, I'm like we'll, on 20 right now. We'll give you five. I'm on fire. I don't, can't break it. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty soon I'll be like on an Undertaker streak. Be like, be just like worried about losing. Personal. The That's thorus, what happened in high school thorus. wrestling. I won like 20 matches in a row, and then you get worried about losing that one match. Hey, they all can't be zingers. Yeah. Les Claypool told us that. Yeah. That's, That's a problem when you, yeah. <laughs> So, anyways, back to uh, the issue at hand for like the fourth time now, Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> you and I. So, oh, man. we're uh, challenging the governor of Massachusetts because he just came out against legal weed and said, uh, "What were you saying, Frankie?" He he said, "I hate weed," but well, not, not, he's just like the guy's ridiculous because <laughs> he's like like a dinosaur. Like, are you serious? Like, you ran for governor in 2014 and you you don't even like realize that oh well marijuana is a gateway drug and all these old tired ideas of the drug war and failed drug policy actually are legitimate reasons like you can't stop what's going to happen you know you can't and so but still he chooses to go on the side of reefer madness reefer madness and there i guess there's it's a gateway it's a total and and he says that you know it's it's very it's very clear that it's a substance abuse a, a substance abuse problem, and then he also says that it's a significant first step for young people to then try other other drugs. So is uh, drinking milk, going to the movies, having sex, walking down the street, music, um, seeing your parents drink. Yeah, come on, you know. I mean, but like at the end of the day, is it maybe that it's the failed this sort of failed drug policy that pushes kids into the kind of world where those other drugs actually exist? You know, maybe that might have something to do with it. How about the fact that, you know, I can't just go and get some weed. I have to go to a drug dealer that could possibly sell pills or sell this or sell, you know, sell anything else, you know, that I'm being exposed to. And it's, it's well, that could the, rip you off or, or anything, rob you. Exactly. And, you know, the whole thing about this is that the governor has now to be Charlie Baker has now said he's against legalization. And uh, as we were saying, as David from Maine, yeah, who's leading the cause up in Maine, who's uh Basically, you know, gotten it okay in Portland, Maine, through the city law, and now he's done it in South Looks Portland. great in a suit, too, by the yeah. way. Nice. He's done a lot of good work <laughs> up there politically. And they're going to legalize it in Maine 2016, just like they are in Massachusetts. Absolutely. And some police up there have been opposing him, and he said he challenged them say. and said, let's do a bear to a puff challenge. Uh, you drink a beer, and I have a puff of marijuana, and we'll see who's standing at the end of the night. That's the challenge. And, and I love that. It was on an alternate. And I say in Boston, since we're in Boston, and we're looking at the governor to be, who now opposes legalization, who we don't trust on the medical still at this point, we're now challenging the governor. We're saying to him, Governor, we'll, we'll put up one joint. I'm going to smoke one joint. I'm going to go all the way. I'm going to be extreme, the athlete that I am. A whole joint? A whole joint. For one beer? For one beer. One beer? For yep. a whole joint? David was one sh one puff for one shot, actually, was what he was doing. The governor likes to drink his beer at the L Street Tavern. Okay. Before and after and during the election. So we're challenging him now to one beer for one joint. And we'll see who's standing. We'll do it on a Sunday. Can we make that a Riverwalk beer? Is yes. That, we absolutely that, can. Yes. Right. yes. We'll, uh, It'll be a tap takeover at the L Street Tavern. 
for Riverwalk. And at the end of the night, I will have one Riverwalk beer after I've had all my marijuana just to celebrate my win. All I right, think Steve, a victory well. lap with a, yes, a yeah. victory dessert. Great. Let's put it that way. We do have a phone call. We'll, oh, we, we do. Phone call on the Hello, line. But before we take the call, oh, hold um, on. We want to finish this. We've challenged oh. the governor. The cha- it's uh, we're putting up. I've already said one thousand dollars. That's right. A G spot to any charity of Biggie. his choice. If he wins, if we win, I've already chosen my charities, and we'll get to that in a minute. So let's take the phone call. Did we lose the phone call. Yeah, Hello, we, caller. We, lost we didn't address him. All hey, right. look. If, you know, if you call want to back. call, and you got to wait for us. Hey, they already knew the phone number. We didn't give it out. It's six one seven five hundred seventy one hundred. Yeah. Give and us call if you and want I don't even in. know if we're ready to take calls. Yeah, why not? Room. People should know. Yeah, I know, but sometimes we're we we're, we're freedom, oh, we haven't even got a challenge out yet. Let's challenge them. Let's get them. So, one thousand bucks. Oh, one thousand dollars. Who's got? I mean, that you know, we're doing it on Sunday. Who's going to work on Monday? Uh, I got to work on Monday. You think I'll make it to work on Monday? Will well, Charlie make it? You see, my my question is, will Charlie get like three or four b- beers deep and then just want to smoke weed with you? <laughs> I think so, but he can't because, like, he's defending this. Uh, you know, alcohol is okay, but marijuana is not. Like the same thing with uh, there was another story of Mass Live, right? Um, there's been a couple stories. Uh, first, Governor Baker came out against marijuana legalization, and then Garrett Quinn's story followed up with uh, Mayor Ma- uh, Marty Walsh, Marty, all excited that Governor to be. Charlie Baker was against the legalization of marijuana. Was going to campaign against it. Said, "I can't wait to join him. We're going to defeat. We're going to we're going to work together to defeat this marijuana legalization." I'm going, to, and they went and met. Apparently, yeah. Garrett Quinn's reporting, and it's so ridiculous. Number one, because uh, I hate to tell you, Governor uh, Mayor Mayor Marty Walsh, you're not going to be defeating anything. I this mean- is going to be a third <laughs> campaign that you are defeated. You've been defeated twice before statewide. You've been defeated in every public policy question that's run. You've lost, lost, lost for over like 10 years on marijuana. You're going to be defeated again. You're a loser on this. You're a multi-year loser. Every single year you lose on this. 65, 70, 80 percent of people just voted for legalization. Well, that's the thing. Look at the PPQs. Look at the PPQs that just came out. You have over 70 percent. In some precincts, you know, over 70 percent of people support the taxation and regulation of weed. And you're going to come out on the other side of that. I mean, do you do that, Charlie or and Marty, because you're already elected? So you don't really need to worry about what the voters think at this point. And you're just going to, you know, say, oh, well, don't really care what you think. This is what I think. So this is what we're going to do. Or are you just that dumb? Like, yeah. do you just not get it? Yeah. You're you're going to lose. Yeah. We're going to win. We're going to win. And it's, it's like 65, 70 yeah. percent. We're going to win. Yeah. Nothing you could do about it. Yeah. And it's not that we're just against alcohol either. You know, we don't think that we be, should be shutting we're down drinking alcohol. Drinking delicious beer right now. Yeah, well, that's the point today. And we are drinking delicious beer. We're going to talk about the next flavor in a second. But the main thing that we need to get back to on this whole marijuana thing in this uh, challenge is that we are challenging you, Governor, to be Baker. And when you are the governor, we're going to continue to challenge you. We want to challenge you on this subject. If you're against marijuana legalization, shouldn't you be against alcohol? Because you won't take this challenge, we're, we're offering it for charity. If it's not a thousand, if we have to raise the stakes, I'll also give you ten thousand. I'm sure, we could raise ten thousand dollars for this, don't you think so, Frankie? Oh man, people would fall head over heels to give you know to fundraise to see that. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. So we're doing it. The young judge, we have challenged the governor. I'm putting him up a thousand dollars. That's right. The charity of his choice. If he wins us, he goes beer against my joint, joint for beer all the way to the end on a Sunday. I am in. Governor. I think you got it in the I'll, bag, Mike. I think you just got to train. You yeah. know, we got to train. You we got to get train. some gloves. You know, you I'm got, be do outside. you have your smoking gloves? It's going to be cold. Yeah, hat, polar vortex mittens, is coming. Yeah, hat, mittens, gloves. You know what else I'm going to need? You don't want to fall victim to the elements. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to need to uh, make sure I get my vitamins and. You my, want your vitamins? Absolutely. I, I don't want to get a cold. No, I can, no. From being outside for so well, long. Well, I mean, to be fair, you know, the cold doesn't give you a cold. It's vir- It's like you know, little. Tiny viruses. Well, you can't all the see support the is out there. Well, I'm yep. sure we'll have a lot of those out there. <laughs> Cheering us on against the governor out on the sidewalk there. It'll just be a complete and total smoke down. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, we're doing this. That's right. Yeah. We can't I- be stopped. So you're going to have to run around the block. Yeah, this is me. I'm training today too. Can yeah. see you in the meat we we already right started like earlier. Beating we started the meat, like the meat locker. We like this is old wrestling. Like I love this. I'm playing this. This is like I got Steve Sanderson from the North Shore here. I got the Rocky music going. I'm like 
back in my wrestling mode. It's like 1984 mode. all over again. Yeah, Vision Quest Ready is coming slam out Slam someone you know on the mat. I mean? like, yeah, <laughs> unbelievable. You've been training for a little while. You were yeah. training earlier. I could do like, I, I, I don't know how many beers this governor can drink, but I can smoke he's a, tall a lot guy. of I don't weed, know. dude. I've, I've met Baker a few times, and he's, he's a pretty tall guy. I'd say Baker probably, you know, weighs maybe, you know, 220. Even if he's out of the giant, though, 100, like 100 joints, I could do that. Let's figure he can drink. I can do that. Like, I won't overdose either because, like, 100 joints is still not overdosing. I don't know. I bet he could probably drink, like, seven beers yeah. before he's, like, probably shouldn't be drinking any more beers. Oh, he's done then. I mean, you know? seven joints. I could do that in a couple hours. Easy. You never know. Easy. Yeah. He might have some. Yeah, sort Holly of se- says yes. Like, yeah. She knows. Yeah. Yeah. He might have some, like, se- secret, like, corporate, like, pill that nobody knows about from the lower classes, you know, that he, we'll can, see. That he can just, you know, drop in his drink and it just takes away the alcohol or something. And, uh, you know, the thing, about the, the, the thing about this challenge <laughs> is we will joke around and have fun about it, but we're dead serious. And no, we're, we're we asking the governor, this. accept this challenge. Face it. Face the question we're asking you. Right now. And not only that, we're asking other people to ask you. We, we expect that uh, we will ask this question. You will be asked this question in public, and uh, we will get an answer. Yeah, eventually. let's go media. Let's go Boston media. Yeah, we're putting up $1,000 to charity. It's a Gino right choice. there. Did I announce the two charities that I would give it to? You didn't yet. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Let us know. All right. It's, uh, if I win, I'm going to split it. I, I thought about giving it to some of these legalization groups, but they're political um, action or whatever they you can't call it a charity. It's uh that would be unfair to the the governor to be. Well, sure. So because I don't want him to make me give to some right wing group I don't support. You know what I mean? So no, like no. Mara. Yeah, it's got to be a real charity. So the two charities I'm gonna I'm not gonna choose uh, Bay State Repeal. I'm not gonna choose the uh, tax and regulate of marijuana in Massachusetts. I wish I could, but those are those aren't real charities. Those are political whatever they call them. There's FC Federal Election Commission um, rules. Uh, Whatever it is. 50C3. Uh, well, that's what we're looking at. Like, we, I'm looking at the nonprofits. C3s the two I'm going to choose yeah. are local, and they are somewhat charity educational groups and uh, support certain groups. Number one is uh, Mass Can Normal, obviously. Hey, hey. 50% mm-hmm. of the money I'd give to them. And the other 50% I would give to Mass Patients Advocacy Alliance, uh, represent the medical marijuana patients. Mm-hmm. So that's what I want to see. I want to see Charlie Baker write the check, 500 bucks a piece. When Pay I up, drink Charlie. my 14 joints in one sitting, and hey. he has his uh, 14 drinks and can't work for a couple days. And everybody, you and know, needs medical attention. You've got Republican friends. You've got people that, you know, are in their RTCs and all this and that. Ask them if Charlie's willing to take the challenge. Yeah. Because I've, you know, got some Republican friends from when I went to uh, the RNC and on, on the Facebook there, and I've already started asking. You yeah, know? Yeah. I well, let's see if we can get an answer here, Charlie. Yeah. What are you going to do? You yeah, gonna what hide? about uh, Evan Kenny? You know? Cuz Evan Kenny came on the show as he a did. Republican. He did. Um we know he you know, he he kind of played the politics. We know how it is, Evan. We love you. But, you know, pretending that he's not that close to um Charlie Baker and it's only normal cuz you're not going to pretend you're that close to, you know, someone like that, you know. It's just political impl- <laughs> implications and, you know. But he uh he definitely has some connection to him. He's a no, Republican. Absolutely. I mean, he, he we, uh, each one of us knows at least somebody that can get this to him yeah. and get it in his ear. And Evan can. You know? And Evan came on here as a Wakefield uh, school committee member, Republican, and an aide to the city uh, of Amesbury mayor. That's right. And he came on our show and he talked about uh, the you know the medical uses of cannabis and how it does help a lot of these kids out there. And there's a lot of science behind it. And I hope that Evan takes our message. Takes our video, takes our, you know what we're doing today, our challenge to his friend Charlie Baker, and say, Charlie, this is another one of those examples, just like before when you guys excluded people. You know, you tried to, and you stood up, Charlie Baker. You did the right thing. This is your opportunity, Charlie Baker, to again to do the right thing. I hope Evan asks him to do that or to evolve your position. 